countries around the world have, have adopted the Kyoto Protocol as something that's really just a first step. first step. I mean, many, many people have, scientists and others have agreed that, I mean, at least it's a step in the right direction. It's almost like the, the bill sponsored by, me, I believe, uh, Senators McCain and, and Lieberman. That would be, a, you know, even a less of a first step toward the goals that are established by Kyoto. Um, but, you know, the, the fact that our country has rejected uh, those protocols when, or the protocol when essentially, you know, as you said earlier, we're one of the biggest contributors, if not the biggest contributor to the increasing um, emissions of greenhouse gases. And I'm so troubled because we do in part have technology to really, I mean tomorrow we could make a significant positive impact, I mean simply with what we use for oil in our cars, for crying out loud, and we don't do that. Mm -hmm. I think where Nancy started too was helpful that this system can be restabilized and we've scared ourselves here and talked about all the potential impacts but it is thinking of it as a system means that it can come to a new equal equilibrium but we're going to have to get some changes occurring fast and as Kurt said the projections are that we need to reduce these greenhouse gases 60 to 70 percent the emissions and Kyoto is about 6 or 7 percent. So it's a toe in the door, but it's a toe in a very important door. It's a start. That we're now blocking. We could get half that way with energy efficiency, yep. with the cars and the cafe standards. Japan and Europe are both twice as energy efficient as the U.S. This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law the leader of reform in legal education and a leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu.